Epictetus laid the foundation of his life handbook with a profound distinction. There are things within our control and those beyond it. In our journey through life, it's crucial to grasp this concept of control as it serves as the cornerstone of inner peace and resilience. The things under our control encompass our opinions, preferences, desires, and actions. These aspects of life are intrinsically tied to our choices and decisions. Conversely, the body, wealth, reputation, and authority, among other external factors, lie beyond our control. The world can be a chaotic place, filled with external influences and judgments from others. One of the most significant challenges humanity faces is the impact of these external opinions and judgments on our emotional well-being. It's nearly inevitable to be affected, whether positively or negatively, by the perspectives of those around us. Epictetus imparts a critical lesson to avoid being swayed by external judgments. We must recognize that the opinions of others, including insults and personal attacks, are not under our control. These opinions are external to our core being and should not have the power to harm us. The Manual of Life authored by Epictetus equips us with invaluable insights on how to navigate the treacherous waters of being the object of offense. The purpose of this video is to extract these teachings from this famous guide, providing you with the tools to achieve a mental state where external opinions can no longer harm you. Now, if you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on such impactful content that we are creating for you. Let's dive into the seven teachings or principles extracted from Epictetus's Guide to Life each offering a unique perspective on how to attain emotional resilience and inner peace. Principle 1. Insults or Offenses Epictetus reminds us that when someone insults or strikes us, it is not the action itself that harms us, but rather our judgment that deems these actions as offensive. Thus, the first step towards resilience is to recognize that it is our own opinion that disturbs us in the first place. By not allowing ourselves to be swayed by appearances, we gain the necessary time and composure to control our reactions. The key takeaway here is that insults or offenses are not inherently harmful. The emotional discomfort arises from our interpretation of them. If we can withstand the initial impact without reacting negatively, we emerge as stronger individuals capable of advancing resolutely through adversity. Principle 2. Firm Purposes To avoid being affected by the opinions of others, especially when pursuing a purpose or passion, one must be prepared for ridicule and mockery from those who don't understand or support your goals. Whether you aspire to become a philosopher or have a different life goal, this principle remains applicable. Epictetus encourages us to remain steadfast in our pursuits, even in the face of criticism. He highlights the importance of staying true to endeavors that contribute to our well-being. This steadfastness pays off, as those who once ridiculed you may eventually come to admire your resolute commitment. It is a reminder that yielding to the opinions of others can result in being ridiculed twice, first for aspiring to your goals and second for abandoning them. Principle 3. Freedom from Dishonor The fear of living in dishonor or being unpopular can be a significant source of distress in our modern world, particularly in the age of social media. Epictetus encourages us not to allow the fear of others' judgments to dictate our lives. Our significance, he emphasizes, lies only in things under our control and dependent on our decisions. Therefore, he urges us to be authentic and true to ourselves, unapologetically embracing our uniqueness. By doing so, we can break free from the shackles of external validation and live life on our terms. Principle 4. 
Exercise self-mastery. Just as we would protect our homes from intruders, Epictetus advises us to safeguard our minds from the intrusion of insults and offenses. To reach a state where these negative feelings no longer affect us, discipline and self-control must be cultivated. This principle applies to all facets of life, including managing anger within our families. By learning to control our emotions and reactions, we can avoid unnecessary suffering and find greater inner peace and serenity. Principle 5. Act According to Your Truth Epictetus advocates for aligning our actions with our principles, regardless of how others may perceive or judge us. This principle holds particular relevance in the age of social media, where the pursuit of popularity and external validation often leads us away from our authentic selves. By acting in harmony with our principles and values, we can find our true path and, in doing so, discover our authenticity as our greatest strength. Principle 6. The Irrelevance of Opinions In this principle, we are reminded not to worry if someone speaks ill of us. Epictetus encourages us to understand that those who pass judgment often believe they are justified in doing so. However, it is impossible to expect everyone to share our worldview or values. We should not allow our happiness to hinge on others' opinions or seek popularity for its own sake. By embracing the truth that only we hold the keys to our self-worth, we can rise above external judgments and criticisms. Principle 7. The Impotence of External Judgment The final principle delves into the motivations behind external judgments and insults. Epictetus urges us to recognize that not everyone will act according to our standards or perspectives. Expecting others to share our worldview is naive. When faced with insults or criticism, especially from strangers who believe they know the truth about us, we should reflect on our actions. If we find that we acted correctly, we should not carry the burden of regret. Instead, we should remind ourselves that only we truly know ourselves. Others' judgments are rooted in their own perceptions and limited understanding. In conclusion, Epictetus' teachings offer a profound roadmap to achieving invincible resilience and inner peace. By understanding the boundaries of control, embracing authenticity, and cultivating self-mastery, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and wisdom. The time to embark on this transformative journey is now. For as Epictetus reminds us, life is fleeting, and delaying our progress only perpetuates ignorance. How do you like this video? Let us know your opinion in the comments. We really hope this video would have added something positive to your life. And that is the goal of this channel, to leave a profound positive mark on you. If you're new here, subscribe to get the dose of positivity, attract success, and get onto the path of solace. We will see you in the next one until then goodbye.